Welcome. This is Rob Thomas, your Microsoft Enterprise Architect. And today I'm going to cover um, how to get your Office 365 emails to work with your website. Now, I'm going to use some common tools in place. Like most majority of people have WordPress site. So I'm going to use WordPress. So you can see here I'm logged in and this is my WordPress site. And I'm going to use a tool called WP um, Mail SM. SMTP Pro, because this is recommended by all of the vendors. I'm also going to be using Cloudways. Cloudways recommends a WP a Mail SMTP, which is a plugin that you saw here in my WordPress site. And how to get this using these tools to work with my website. So now, some things to kind of really, I really want to think about. Um, and, and before I get started, I do want to give thanks to my sponsors. That is Enterprise Software Solution. So if you are looking to get more Office 365 products, um, add on or actually purchase Office 365, I highly recommend uh, using Enterprise Software Solutions. Great company. They have other products like Copilot, Power BI, Azure, Microsoft Dynamics, Microsoft SQL Server. So a great company that will work with you if you're a startup, a media service company. Definitely reach out to Software Dudes, work with your sales rep, and they will help you. Um, so now back to... How do you get my email to work with my WordPress site, with my website? And, and I'm bringing this topic up because this has been an ongoing pain for a lot of business owners. They get going and there's some issues inside your, your WordPress site um, or, or any, any of your website. Getting that SMTP to work is a bit of a challenge, right? And you're trying to get away from writing code. You're trying to use the clients, the plugins, get those working and make everything works. So I'm going to show you how this is done. So first let's get let's get started with Outlook and WP Mail SMTP. So first what's going to happen um, with WP Mail SMTP? This is the documentation that's really walks you through with a video that goes into the detail. But basically what happens is is that when you first get started, you are first setting up your cloudways. Now, again, if you're using Bluehost um, GoDaddy is very similar, but this is a little bit more powerful. You get your own server. So I have my own server dedicated and I'm able to um, go in and set up my SMTP. So I'll basically come in here, you know, set, select my own from others, click others. And then this is a little tricky. Like I had to go online. I pretty much knew the port's always going to be 587, but I wasn't too sure. And after doing some research online, yes, SMTP office365.com is how you get an office 365, right? So that was right. So I got my hosting. So I got those, those things there. If you click update, and then this is where I put in my email address. So when I'm logging into my email account, right? So if I go um, here and I click on Outlook and I'll just, or I log into my office 365, this is going to be my main account. So I'm going to put my username um, and it would be, you know, uh, um, our time, uh, you know, Rob at, the trusted automation.com and then put in my password, right? And then hit save and then I'm good. Then I would come here um, and let me click out and click back in. i to be careful, I don't wanna click out, I have passwords and stuff here. But if I click here and I just move, right? I could I could move and I could just say, it's coming from anywhere, right? Um, I could say it's like that and I could put an email address, right? And I could say it's coming from myself or whatever. I could say, you know, Rob at the trusted automation or whatever. And once I put that there and I hit the send test email, it works, right? Now I log into this environment and I go to my contact page. So I'm in here and I'll go to my contact page and then I'll tell my, and then I'll fill out the form and then the emails are not sent to me, right? So most of us are using contact seven. So you're going to have this contact form, you, you know, you set up the integration and you set up the form, everything's working. It's just that every time I get to my contact us page and I'll just click here and I fill out the form, I don't get the email, right? So I, I walk through the configuration of, of getting this set up. So the next thing is make sure the plugin's installed and ready to go. Make sure the plugin is active, WP, mail, SMTP. And then you're going to get to here and basically you're going to be a little stuck. Now, natively, this does work. Um, if you but this is not the recommend, recommended path. This is why I'm saying this is because, because when you're working with Cloudways, Cloudways encourages you to work with this company, WSFT Mail, S, 
uh, WP Mail, SMTP Pro, like really using these guys, getting them installed, installing it on your WordPress site and getting it up and running. Now, you can see our really easy, um, I'm not gonna cover all these items, but we cover the ones that matter to me. I'm using Office 365, right? And then boom, it gives you documentation that I was showing you right here on what you need to specifically do to get this to work. Now, I've started, when I finally got this to work for the first time, oh man, it was just efficient. And now I can track when emails are actually being sent from my WordPress site to myself or to customers or anything like that. I can now get visibility via um, you know alerts or when emails are failing. Because without this tool, when emails fails, you don't know. So this is why this tool is really, really powerful. All right, so now we went over configuring Cloudways. Um, and what I wanna do is go over configuring WP Mail SMTP. Now, once you get here, the biggest thing is I'm trying to get my application ID and my application password, right? And, and how am I gonna get those? So I'm going to first go into my Office 365. So make sure I logged in. Now, once I'm logged in, I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna put in um, portal.azure.com and it'll pop me into Azure, Microsoft Azure. And then when I'm in Azure, I'm going to click on the homepage. Now, because I have this set up, so I don't wanna share my all application, my own application, because it'll show my client ID. So that's why I have it on a deleted app. I'm gonna show another, um, you know, our, my test account that I've been using with you guys um, on a, a, a couple of tests. So I am gonna pull that up, right? And we are going to leverage that one and hold, uh, bear with me a second here. So here you'll see I have my Office 365. Right, now I'm gonna set this one up because I haven't set it up and this one's under um, Glide City, right? Um, and I don't have a website for that one, so it's a little tricky. So first thing I'm gonna do is I need to get this to work. So it's the same concept. I'm gonna do the same thing and I need to get the app registration. So what I'm gonna do to, to credentials to go in. So I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna go app RE and then it's gonna, you know, it's gonna bring up app registration. It's also down here, Azure Services. So I click that one and it takes me in here, right? So now I'm in, I do have something set up here for Copilot. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go new registration um, and I'm going to click on um, uh, accounts and this. And then I'm gonna go here and click web, right? And then what I can do is um, definitely come back over here. Let's just make sure I'm following the right instructions, right? So app, see it like that, boom, 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 right? Uh, oh, actually I'm supposed to choose that one right there. I was a little off. I'm gonna go grab that, right? So that is located here. So I'm gonna grab it like that, check it. I'm gonna go back to, um, let me click over here, pull this back up. And I'm gonna paste that right there. Make sure it says web, right? And then I chose the wrong one. It's supposed to be this one right there, right? Um, and I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it um, WP, I'll call it the same thing, that's fine. I'm gonna call it um, WP SMTP uh, and then like that, right? So I'm good to go. So now I look pretty good. I can go back and just kind of validate I got everything correct. You know, that's checked, boom, boom. I could put that there, I added that there, right? And I'm gonna generate the ID and I'm gonna generate the password. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it so, you know, it, it can't be, you know, you can't use, but I'm just doing it for testing purpose because I don't use this account at all. So now that looks good. And my next step and phase is to go down to this registration button, that looks good. Um, and I'm just gonna click register. Now it's creating the application. Look how easy this is, right? It's an easy step to solve a very complex problem and it's gonna serve you well. So now that I got that up and running, I'm good. Now I have 
my application ID right there. I'm gonna grab that and I'm super excited. Go back over here and drop that in and make sure that's clicked, right? And then drop that in. That's what I need. Now I need a password and a secret key, right? So that's my next thing. So now that I'm in here, I know I need to click here for certificates, right? So this looks good. Application's ready. So I'm gonna click that. Um, and I'm gonna say create a new client secret key. Uh, and I'm gonna say, you know, um, password. Just give it a name, password. For whatever. No, actually. For WP. Whatever, right? And then you can only go 24 months. This custom doesn't work. You just click here to 24 months. It's up to you if you want to change every six months. Totally up to you. And I'm just going to click add. And then I'm done. That simple, that easy. This could totally stress you out. And you don't need the secret ID, but you do need this value right here. So you're going to grab that value right there. And then you're going to go back. And you're going to drop it in the password right there. And then you're going to click save. Boom. Save. Actually, let me save it. It might not work. Or it might work. We'll see. It shouldn't work because I'm I'm on two different platforms. Uh, it might work. Oh, it did work. Wow. Okay. So now I set that, right? And I'm good. Now I'm going to click this button. says allow the plugin to send emails using your Microsoft account. So I'm going to click that button. And it's going to trigger a login. So this might fail because my login is a little different. Um, but... It's, it's going to trigger it because it's going to ask questions under this, like, can I access blah, blah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click cancel because I don't want it to go. But ultimately, you see what I'm doing, right? I'm going to click accept. Again, I'm logged into two pl platforms just for demonstration purposes. And then you wouldn't have got this error message. It would have just worked. Um, and then you're good to go. Now, I'm actually going to set this up because I haven't set this up in a while. And I'm going to remove these keys. Um, and you could see I need to, this is mine, right? I need to actually go in here, um, register it, get the ID, get the password, do that step and, um, and then get it working. So actually let me do, let me pause. Let me do that now get that working. And then I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. So I went ahead and set everything up. Um, can't show it cause I had set up my keys, um, inside of that. Uh, infrastructure. So I got that working. Everything is looking good. So just to recap, I basically went in and got the ID and got this value, this the, the, the password, which is the secret of key, which is not the ID, but the value here. And then basically what I did was I went back in and I added them below here. So can't show them because I'm I set it up here correctly. And then my main my main account um, where I have, you know, trusted automation all, all on one Office 365. So I have multiple domains, right? This is my main email account. So this one is going to email me back. So everything is working. And the next thing you would need to do is just really quickly, you'll come in here, you go into your email log, you'll enable, um, you'll enable email logs. So make sure that's turned on, hit save, that's done. I like to do log email content too. And then I'll come in here and the last thing is get at those alerts. So I'll set the alerts, put some passwords here and then boom, hit uh, save setting. I'm done. This is now officially working, right? So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to test this out um, to make sure that uh, what I got in place is working and doing what it needs to do. So let's actually go here and let's click on, let's just quickly, let me just quickly like throw something here and call him, you know, John Doe, John two do two, right? And I'll just say, you know, John do two, and then test user gave me some random number. I'm going to say, um, five, 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 and then test message. I'll just put, I'll just throw as much text as I can in here. Boom, 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 like that. All right. So I got a lot of text in there, right? I'm going to hit the send message. And then over here, it's going to say um, successful. Boom. Your message has been successful. Woohoo! So working, right? So if I log here 
and I am looking at my account. Boom, there it goes. Boom, I got it. That was awesome, right? Really excited. Glad that's working. And the reason why is, again, right, the reason why I'm doing this is because it just, it's simple, it's easier, it's working. You're getting your Context 7 form to work, which is going to be pretty regular on, webs on your website. You have your Context 7 form. But I also wanted to introduce another thing, right? I use uh, my Stick of the Element, which is a really easy tool to make my site a little more snaggy. So I'm giving my, cus my customers opportunities to just connect with me any way they can. So I could just say, you know, Matthew Doe, right? Probably three. Um, again, God, these weird numbers. Uh, 949, I'll just do that one, right? And then Matthew Doe, I'll leave that. And then I'll just paste the message in here, boom. Um, boom, 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 boom. And then I'll set my terms and agreement. Now I have, a, I have a really cool automation that's set here. So when you hit submit, it's not gonna tell you, it's not only gonna tell you it went, but it's gonna hyperlink you to my booking page where you can come in and you can book a transformational session with me on uh, one of my team members. Um, so once I do that, everybody's ready to go, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one consultant services, whatever, and then they book it, get their main information, right? And then let's just quickly um, take a look and voila. That's what I love this. Look how fast, boom, fast, no delay, consistent. It's using uh, Microsoft to send and manage all your emails. That's what you want to do, right? So today we covered um, a lot of wonderful, challenging topics, how to get my email to work with my WordPress site, right? How to get my Office uh, Outlook Exchange to work with my WordPress site, um, configuring and setting up Cloudways, looking at making sure that's set up, going into Outlook and making sure my um, Azure is set up there, getting you know getting that the ID and the password, going to WP uh, Mail SMTP inside of WordPress and making sure that's set up and that's ready to go, and then testing the email delivery. So just testing, go to my website, testing, make sure everything's working, and make sure the alerts are set up. So I really helped you solve the big problem. Like if you do this. It's going to be easy. Now, if you go another route, you're going to have challenges. So I do encourage you, for a majority of you are using that, um, you might be using probably another email a client. So Concept still works. It's just maybe a different plugin, maybe a different tool, but the concept still works. You really want to use some type of email client that's built in. It's going to help for you make you very successful. This is key because if you're not getting emails from your website, you're not getting sales. So Thank you so much for letting me share with you tools to help you make you super successful. And by all means, comment below and have a great evening. Thanks. Bye.